Little Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and today is day two of getting these goats shaved. I only was able to achieve six goats yesterday, and today that means we have ten more to go. And I'm hoping that I can actually do it. I don't know. It's a lot of goats. But, um, and of course it's another windy day, so that's, that's fun. But either way, uh, we're going to get at it. So we're going to start with, with bathing mayo. She's going to be the senior doe um, that we're going to show you guys how to shave, how to shave a senior doe. And if you didn't see the last video, there's junior does and there's senior does. Um, a senior doe is just a doe of any age that has freshened or has came into milk. In other words, had a baby before and has a butter. So we're going to get going on that. Okay, so just like with the other girls, everybody's going to get their selenium today, which is given monthly. Uh, it's selenium and vitamin E paste we give monthly. And then their copper. So the copper is something that we give every six months. We give it to them right before they breed and right after they kid. They also need their hooves trimmed, which is something we do every couple of months. So it's time for that to be done as well. So again, we use the selenium paste, given monthly, they get five cc's, and you just hold the mouth, you're going to get it in the back of the mouth, squirt it in, just like that. Okay, so next we are going to give them their copper. Copper just comes in these little capsules, um, and there's a bunch of little rods of copper inside of it. So we always use a bolus gun, which is just this little thing. You pull it back, the copper ball, is, the copper capsule is in there, and I just fill it with peanut butter so that it sticks, because otherwise it'll fall right out and do you no good. What I'm going to do is get it to the back of their throat. They have to actually open up their throat so that that capsule is in there and you punch the gun down, um, and that way it'll go to the bottom chamber in their belly, and all of those copper rods will just lodge into the stomach and slow release for six months. If you feed them copper with a Fig Newton or anything like that, yes, they're going to get it, but it's not going to be the slow release effect that you want. So, it is kind of intimidating the first time you do it, um, but as you do a few, it, it, it's really not that bad, and it can get done very quickly, and it, it's better for them if you bolus them rather than feed it to them in a tree. So, I'm just going to get up here, shove it into her mouth, and you can feel it. There it is. It's in the back. Now she swallowed it down. Just like that, guys. It's not hard. Now the next thing to do with this girl is get her pretty little hoovies trimmed. We trim, as I said, every couple of months. If they get too bad or you get too far behind on their hooves, it can really start taking effect on the rest of their body just consider yourself having sore feet you know you're walking weird you're walking silly your back starts hurting things like that so it's really important to make sure that they're standing on good feet it's always easier to trim hooves after you bathe them too just softer hooves
I always just take a little bit at a time. You can't put it back on, but you can always take more. All right. Good girl. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of her hooves and then we're gonna start on shaving her. Okay, so how to shave a senior doe. Now, as I was saying, the only difference between a junior like we were shaving on the previous video or a senior is a senior has an udder. A junior can be shown up to two years old and if she's beyond two years old and doesn't have an udder, then she cannot be shown because she needs to be bred. Um, so not a hard thing to do it's just an extra area to shave if you will um, but these are the clippers that I use these are Andy's Pro Speed love them love them love them I highly recommend them um, they're just a really smooth cut they stay cool for a lot longer and for the body I have two different sizes that I use they will come with a 10 which is going to shave them very 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 short haired um, and they can get sunburnt, so I don't shave the whole body with a 10. I actually use a 4. Um, now the 4 is just right. It's uh, short enough that the judge can see their body conformation very well. Um, and also, it doesn't make them sunburnt. So it's, it's what I use, is a 4 for the majority of the body. And then on the feet and udder, they're going to, and around the tail, they're going to get um, the 10. So, something I also have is um, lube. So you're going to make sure that you continually check your blades for not only temperature because they can get really hot but you need to lube them up frequently also if they're not lubed they get hotter quicker and you can hear them start to grind after a while and I also use blade ice um, so blade ice is just something if if it gets super super hot then you can just put some blade ice on it and it cools off that blade really quickly um, another thing that is really helpful for me is having I do have another 10, but they're they're pretty dull, so I'm not going to be using them. I need to sharpen them. That's another video. Um, but having multiple of the same of the same blade, because then you could also switch them out. And you don't really need to use the blade ice, that type of thing. So helpful to have two. All right, all of these items as well, you guys. I'm going to have in the description below. Okay, always start by making sure your blades are lubed does not take much and so I'm starting with the four um, again gonna get the majority of the body here and you're just gonna do you want to go against the hair just smooth strokes girl lucky me the wind is whipping around as soon as I turn the blades on I'm gonna strap you, girl. Okay. If you guys have never seen these, they have been a lifesaver for me. All it is is a long rope wrapped around my two legs here with two slip knots on the end. When a doe wants to get happy feet on the stand, whether I'm milking her, shaving her, giving her shots, it doesn't matter. She's going to get strapped. There we go. See if that helps at all. Much better. Right, Mayo is such, such, such a beautiful goat. I was so bummed that the shows were canceled this year because her udder just was gorgeous. Her second freshen, or the second time she had babies, the second udder, just was absolutely, it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So, a little bit bummed, but it is what it is. <laughs> Not much we can do about it. Is that right, girl? She really wanted to win. 
in the ring, huh? So the underbelly, the hair kind of grows in all different directions. So you just got to kind of move your blade around to get it all. Most of this from here and the whole udder, you just kind of do a circle. We're going to use a 10 as well. So I mentioned these clippers don't get hot very fast, but I still, every few minutes, you just want to put, you know, you want to check the blade because you don't want to burn your goat. Alright, so as far as getting under the legs, you just got to lift it up, get those long hairs under there. Get the udder a little easier too, which again we're going to come back with the 10 for the whole udder. Alright, so for this arm as well, I'm just going to lift it up, I'm going to help you get that shoulder, get her brisket, and just that part of the arm here. Yeah, good girl, Mayo. Now, just kind of, it kind of tucks in right there, so I'll just kind of pull that skin out just to get any stragglers there. So, from their knee down is going to be a 10. So I'm going to get everything until about their knee, and then the rest will be a 10. In here, it's hard to get, so I just kind of push out that skin there. You just get it best you can. And then back here as well. So from the hawk down to the foot is going to be a 10. So I use the 4 all the way to the hawk. Alright, we're good on this side for her. So now I'll get the tail. Alright, so with the tail, alright, really the back end. Stop, girl. <laughs> Gonna get the whole back end real quick. Now the tail, you don't want to mess up. I've seen before where people have cut all the hair and they just have this little ball tip here. You don't want to cut the fluffy stuff off the end. Most of it, you're going to shave. And all those long hairs. Right down the side. Okay. So what I look for, you're going to find the tip of the tail which is right here and I'm going to come out about an inch and then we're just going to go right across just straighten it up so you're trying to get at least even here as far as where you're shaving So just like that, if you were, if she was actually going to show, and I did do it with the junior goat um, that I shaved yesterday, so I showed you guys that. But this is this is perfectly fine too. If she was going to show, you might do a ten, just around real real short right here. The needle, um, do it real short here and just kind of trim up those edges a little bit but this is perfectly fine too I mean that's not gonna make or break a goat in the show and they can see her all right now we're on the other side
All right, now we're on to the neck and face. Now the neck, you try to get as much as you can. You might have to pull her back and then do it from the other side right over here, or you might have to pull her forward and do it from here. And they're gonna act like they're dying, but do not shave this goatee off until you're done with the whole head. I can't tell you how helpful it is to have this little handle. And she's freaking out. I'm not pulling it or anything. But just the fact of me holding it, she doesn't like it. But hold it for a little bit without hurting them. And then they'll calm down about it. But anyway, if you need to manhandle them to move their head and stuff, this is the best way to do it. So the, the beard is always the last thing to come up. I know. Come on, go. Calm down. Just get it where you can. Be patient. They don't like it. They do tend to calm down a little bit after a couple strokes there. Be real careful around their eyes, obviously. See, that's not so bad. Good girl. Okay. Now, all this hair in my face. All right, so get down, girl. Come on. Get your feetsies down. So, like right here, I have to pull her through. Or, I was saying, if they won't do that, you just pull their head back so that you can get to it. Putting them in a headlock helps sometimes too, but just be careful around the eyes. Let me get your cute little head. It's all right. Ah. I'm not looking to get their eyelashes off or anything, guys. Leave those there. All right, so we're done with the neck and face. Are you gonna behave now, like really? So we can take off that beard. You're peeing. Here's my opportunity, she's staying still. Well, that was short lived, wasn't it, girl? Let me see. Good girl. Let me just get right there, sweetie. Look at the elegant face. Now you're pooping on the stand. So, for a, for a goat show, the girls will get their beards shaved off, but the boys, you leave that big, beautiful mane. Mane. That big, beautiful beard. Beautiful? Yeah. Looks have beauty. beautiful beards. So this is where the ten blade is going to come into play. From the feet up to the hocks on the legs, and the feet up to the elbows and the front legs, it is, it is going to be the ten, as well as the udder and kind of, um, you know, out on the underbelly a little bit as well. Now, no, I'm not taking my goats to show this year, but I still like to shave them every year. There's a lot of development that goes on in each year until they get to a certain age. So I like to shave them. I like to see what the year gave. You know, it's really hard to see what's under all of that hair. So if you want to see the body and what your goat's made of, shaving is a very good way to do so. And on top of that, um, you know, once, once we're actually starting to keep the milk, which is here very soon, within the next few days, we're going to have a lot of milk because we're getting rid of about 11 kids who will be, almost all of them are almost eight weeks old. So um, anyway, it'll, it's just a lot cleaner shave. So you're not getting as much hair in your milk. So we always do an udder shave regardless. Um, but, and then, you know, being able to get updated pictures for our website and things like that. So that, that's why we're, I'm still deciding to shave. 
again this is a 10 I don't think I lubed it guys wait pretty easy concept here Now around these pads here, you just kind of move them out of the way. I'd say the legs are the least fun for me to shave, for sure. Probably for the goat, too. Okay. If you're going against the hair, it's going to be a shorter trim, but if you turn it around and go with the hair, it's a little bit longer. So, in this scenario, just to blend it a little better, I do just go with the hair, and you just kind of comb it in there, right there where it would meet, the two lengths meet. And it just makes it a little bit smoother of a cut. I hope you guys can see that. The toes are fun too. Sarcastic. You don't want all of these long hairs in between the toes and the rest of the foot was nice and short haired, so. All right, we got one foot done. I am going to do the rest. Another little tip too, guys. I have to unleash this one also. But another little tip. So since I'm on this side, I mean, feel free to, I can see this side of the leg. You know what I mean? The inside of her other leg. So I'm gonna get as much of it as I can. It just makes it a little bit easier. than not being able to see it, you know what I mean? All right, so the blade's getting a little bit warm, actually hot, so blade eyes. You do not want to spray it into your clippers, ever, ever, ever. I'm just aiming for this area here and I'm gonna face it down so none of it goes into the clippers. And it's just gonna cool them off, that's it. I wipe it on my crappy pants, and it's super cold. Now, a lot of people will say to use this, you can also use this as lubricant. It doesn't work that well if you're losing, using it for lubricant. I try to keep it out of the blades as, as much as possible, and I'm just getting this base here, because that's the part I want to be cooled off, and then I use actual blade lube, so. All right, back to the feet. She's picky. Okay. All right, so now for the udder. We got the whole body, the legs, everything. Now the udder. So what we're looking for, you're not gonna just shave the udder. We're actually gonna come out in a ring, or like a moon, a crescent, whatever, and come out here you're gonna get some of that underbelly in the ring it's kind of the purpose kind of is to make the not only make the udder look a little bit larger to the eye but it also gives you the opportunity to see the the four udder so this right here is the four udder and it should be a very smooth blending from the udder into the underbelly so it allows the judge to see that as well and then also milk veins which are pretty cool because if you got really big milk veins then that means they're a really good milk goat. All right so I'm gonna start in the middle and get to where I want it and she just moves for me okay. Stop moving girl. Emily you're gonna have to give her stuff and don't make her move anymore right? Okay. Where did I start? Right there. I just don't make her move. Thank you. And then you're wanting it. You can almost see the line here in their hair. It's 
see if all of that hair is gone. And you can see, again like I was saying, these big milk veins. This girl's a really good dairy goat. That's a huge vein. That is very good. And you can also see the fore udder here, which is extremely smoothly blended from the udder into the, the belly. If it wasn't smoothly blended, it's kind of like you'd see pockets. You could put your finger in there in a pocket. Um, so that would not be smoothly blended. All right, so I got most of that on this side. So now we're going to lift your leg up so you can get the rest of the udder here. This girl has such a big udder this year. Right now it's not big because we milked her about an hour ago, but just kind of pull the udder up. You want those hairs there too. So we got the back end done in one side. So I'm going to get the other side done and then we'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. So the other side is going to be exactly the same on the stomach. I guess we, yeah, it's just hard to see here in the lighting guys because it's facing the sun now, but we'll do our best. And you can almost see that line where you would want it. Stay still, girl. Almost done. Lift up that leg. Make sure the goat doesn't kick you in the face. That would not be fun. That is it, guys. So, this is covered in hair. This is what we would do anyway for, for the milk shave. It's what I call the milk shave. Um, just shave around their udders and some of the underbelly so that when you are milking, it's a lot less likely to get those big long hairs in your milk and it's just cleaner. Now, if you're going to the show, a lot of people um, just shave just like this and that's fine. Um, your purpose is to be able to see that udder and you can definitely see it as you can tell. You can see her udder, but um, I don't like that. Behave. But what I do is actually then I have a 50 blade, which is just the surgical cut. Um, it is very, 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 very short. So there's no need for me to do that because we aren't actually going to show. So I'm not gonna necessarily do that now but that one um, you could do that with the 50 blade and then even one extra step if you really want that udder to be pretty and pop you are going to get a Bic razor or your favorite razor whatever type of razor you like and actually shave it with shaving cream and a razor so that it's completely bald and just pretty you can see the udder really well so I tend to like to do that when I'm running behind. I will at least do the 50 blade, but that is it. That is how you shave a show goat, a dairy senior goat for a show. Or because you like to see how pretty they are. Because we're not going to show, but I do it anyway. Now, you were, you were kind of honoring, but I'm really proud of you because you're a really honoring girl. So all things considered how honoring you really are, you did good, girl. And you look so beautiful. So, now we only have nine more to do. 
we actually made pretty good timing on this girl. I'm hoping to get all nine done. So I'm going to put her back in and choose the next victim. <laughs> Just clean you. guys it was another big day and I didn't get 10 more goats done I have hair all over me again my mouth and here we are it's time to go do the evening chores so I have about 20 minutes to try to shower off and get all of this hair off of me and out of my mouth so that leaves 12 goats done um, which which is a pretty big accomplish, accomplishment. It's it's a lot of work, and you know, with the kids of the with the, I've had a long day if you can't tell. With the help of the kids, <laughs> we've been able to, like I said, get 12 done. So pretty good, pretty good deal. Big Montana was the last one for today, and she was very patient. She still hasn't lost a lot of weight. I thought maybe after taking out off all of her clothes, she would be. A little skinnier but it is what it is so we have four more to do which is gonna be Becky Val Chili and Lily so four more to do which is better than 16 to do right so anyway tomorrow we have a big day I'm not gonna be able to get at them tomorrow but the following day for sure I'm gonna finish out the rest of the four and then think think about the buck so Thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm going to go get this hair out of my mouth and face and eyes. And we'll see you again soon. Say bye, Sky. Say bye, Sky. She's not talking right now. She's mad. <laughs> you did good, girl.